I'm moving with the Google Apps. If you like to open your Google Slides, directly you can go with the Google Slides. The Google Slides may be stored here. You can open it. Otherwise, you can go to your drive. From this, you can access this. So now I move to the augmented reality topic to the effective uh, teaching, uh, effective online teaching tools and techniques. So here, just I'm come back to the uh, my Google Drive. Here I like to see my uh, yesterday I prepared one PPT here to the presentation. That's why I did the presentations. The yesterday slides which I prepared, it may be stored here that I can open it. Otherwise, you can go to the recent. Even the recent also, you can see the same file. So this is my file which I created. I can open this file. So I just I open this file. Yes. After opening this file, now you can see. It's, uh, yeah, this is my Google Slides. Why I am talking about Google Slide is a better option in the case of online teaching because we can easily to connect with the any kind of third party tool as an added add-on tool. And if someone's asking what's my favorite presentation tool, I may tell as a Google Slide. Because we already have in the Google account, we can easily to access and the features also I'm just I'm focusing. Um, before that, just I'm going to start present uh, and I'm going to ask a small question. Can you give the answer? Can you give the answer uh, for this question? It's a very simple question and uh, it it creates a lot of insight also to you. The question is that can you guess who are our best friends in the case of the online classes? Please kindly think about the students' perspectives. In the student side, who are their best friends in the online classes? Can you give the answer in the chat box? Can you give the answer in the chat box? We can see your predictions. The teacher. Is the teacher? Laptop? Best network? Oh, good answer. Best network. Best network. Phone. Any other answer? Phone. Yes. Already you are connected with the devices, no? Yes, I'll give the answer. The answer is mute button and the chat box are the best of them. Is it correct or not? Mute button. Suppose if someone starts speaking, you are intervening, it's not be fair. Okay, so always you can keep the, the mute, always to be keep in a proper manner. You must know how to mute, how to unmute. And the next thing, the chat. Now you can see this much of people are interacting with me in a single second with the through the chat box. Even you can tell the hi to the other people. So therefore, uh, according to me, the mute button and the chat box are our best friend in the case of the online classes. So kindly uh, tell the students to use properly. That is the only the things. How to effectively use the chat box, how to effectively use the mute and unmute. Yes, I moved to the, the one by one demonstration. Now I like to prepare a people because I, we are talking about the online teaching. No? When you are teaching online teaching, we are most of the time we are using the PowerPoint as a medium. But install the PowerPoint as a medium, I can recommend to go with the uh, Google Slides. What is the advantage? We can add any lot of multimedia based content in the PPT. For that, I'm doing the small, small demonstration. I'm going to tell the, the tool's name also. And for installing these tools, what you have to do, go to the add-on. Please kindly note this much important steps. You can pick the add-on. In the add-ons, you can go to the get add-ons. Once you go to the get add-ons, you can find a lot of add-on software, like an add-on software, like a extension softwares. You have to type the, the tool which I'm focusing here. For example, if you like to type the, the first one, fixed one, you can type as a fixed one and download the tool. So like this, you have to download the, uh, install these tools in your Google Slide. After that, your Google Slides, it's very much attractive because the teaching, you no, know, the most of the online teachings, 80% uh, of success based on the content which are using the slides. Uh, because if you are using a set content like a text can it not be good for the students always you can use um, some kind of multimedia based content rather than doing the some demonstration the first tool i'm going to talk about the fixed terms this is an add-in i hope you know how to install the add-in how many are already familiar with the installing the add-ins those who are know the installation of add-in you can type i in the chat box those who are not knowing the, the installation process you can type uh, n in the chat box Yes, thank you. Thank you. So I think most of them people sir, know. Uh, yes, yeah, so those who are not knowing, please kindly know. You can go to the add-ons. Those who are not knowing, kindly see here. Go to the add-ons in the Google Slides. You can go to the get add-ons and type the terms, type the, the tool which I'm going to highlight now that you have to install one by one. For example, the first tool you have to install. You can type as a fixed term. You can type as a fixed term and you have to install this tool. Because you can see, you can see the install. Just you can click automatically be installed. It's not an issue. Once you press the here, it has to be installed. 
after the installation is over, after the installation process is over, if you go to the add-ons, you can find it this much of add-ons. See, you are finding the fixed on stripe kit. Lot of add-ons I already insert, install. That's why this much is listed. out. For your case, it won't be listed. out. You have to install, then only it may be uh, visible to you. Now, the first example, I'm going to tell how to use the fixed on. What is the purpose we are using this one? The fixed start is particularly meant for the, the language teaching. Suppose you like to create a, some storyboard, even for history or any subject, if you like to create a storyboard, you can use the fixed on code. Just I'm opening the fixed on uh, with the adder. Here I'm opening the, uh, there is a fixed on, you can see. If you go to the open, sir, for what we are using this, Sanjali Krishna Kumar, for, for example, when you're preparing the, uh, any storyboard for your teaching, particularly the two persons are speaking together. Like this, if you want to create any kind of avatars, for creating avatar purpose we are using, I'm getting the guest started. So once you click here, you are getting some kind of avatars on the right side. I hope you are seeing. Suppose I like to select this girl for some uh, discussion. I'm selecting this girl. Then after that, it asks me to select the color of the hair. I can select the color of hair. This is like I'm constructing the avatar for my, it's like a selecting the character for my uh, explanation part. Uh, it asks me the hash type, just I'm selecting this hash type. Then after that, you have to select the uh, the physical appearance, outfit, okay? So I like to go with this costume. After this costume, you can go with the post. So which post you like? Suppose you like to speak, you want to make some kind of interaction. If you like to uh, make it as a running purpose, which post you need, you can go with this. Suppose I like to keep this, I can press here. Once you press here, automatically this image is, you know, this avatar, it may come here. <coughs> it may come here, you can keep it here. So you can keep it at any places. And suppose you like to add any uh, text, you can go to the insert and go to the, uh, hi, suppose there is interaction between two persons. Hi, Babu. So I'm giving this a hi, Babu. So I like to create a one mail also. Therefore, what I'm going to do, I'm giving the cute star. I'm going to select a mail now. I'm going to create a mail now. So if you go back to the type, you can see I can select the mail. This is a mail. Okay. Then after that, you can select the hash color. You can select the, the hash style. You can select the, uh, the dress code. So I like to go with this dress code and you can go with the portion. So I can go with this portion. Once you press here, automatically the image may come. So you can keep it at any places. Okay. You can keep it any places. Uh, yes, sir. You can keep this one at any places and you can minimize this space. You can minimize this one. And if you like to add some text, you can keep this text. So you can tidy this, the different type. Hi, uh, Vina. So I type the name, hi Vina, how are you? So like this, you can do with any kind of interaction with them. This is for storyboard writing. Particularly for language teaching, this might be good. So kindly check out. Even you can prefer any slides with the use of this kind of uh, avatar. No? It making your presentations more styles, styles. And I'm just to move to the next one. And during the time contact, uh, context, I'm just explaining only one demonstration. I move to the next one, Pexels. The second add-on, Excel space, anyone can type in the tools which I'm focusing, uh, during the time you can type in the chat box. The second add-on, Excel. The purpose of this add-on, to add the images, please kindly note, most of the images in the Google slide, sorry, in the uh, Google search, it's totally is a copyright, copyright. So if you are using it, sometimes there is a issues come to the future. Someone's go for the quote and they may, um, and it makes some kind of illegal activity, illegal things you may face it. So what you have to do, you can use the Pexels as a tool to download or to use any free images. That is the images we can call as a CCO license. That is called Creative Common Open License. You don't have to worry about the, the licensing things and all. It's a totally free. So for this, you can go to the add-on. I'm already installed the tool, uh, Pexels. Once you go to the Pexel, you can go with the search and in, insert. Once it search and insert, it asks in the uh, box, search box. You can type the, for example, I like to add some kind of computer images here as part of the demonstrations. Just I like to add this image. Once you press here, automatically this image, it comes and embed with the tools. Then after that, you can minimize and maximize it. Maximize it. This is possible. See, you can change the, the portion. 
And one more good thing about this Google Slides, if you go to the, there's a lot of craft options also available. Once you go here, there is a craft. Uh, you can make it as a different shapes. Suppose you like to go with a circle base or any base. Suppose you like to go with this more. You can go with this shapes automatically. The image may come this shapes. See, so we can easy to make any kind of shapes as you like. This is possible in this. Uh, suppose you like to go with the, uh, the normal one. Replace image, you can go to the replace as well. If you like to change, you can go with this normal one. If you like to go with the uh, circular base, you can go to the circular. So like this, we can modify the images as we like. This is possible in the Google Slides. And I'm coming to the, the third uh, tool, the third adder, that is called Unsplash, the same like. The same like, if you want to use your any images for your percentage, because once you use the images, uh, sometimes without knowing if you share the PPT, that images are copyrights, the people may put the case against you. Therefore, whenever you are preparing the PPT, kindly note whether you are using a three images or don't use it. So that images we may call as a creative common open images. So there's other tools that's called Unsplash. Unsplash, this is a free image tool. You can go to the adder. You can go to the Unsplash images. I'm already insert this adder. I go to the insert. And you can type any code, so any key. For example, I like to find some of the tree images. You can type as a tree. You can, a lot of trees may come. So you can select the tree which you like to add. So just, I like to go with this tree. You can press automatically the tree images. It may embed in the slide itself. So like this for preparing the PPT is very simple here after. Previously, we had downloaded the images after the way we had to insert in the normal PPT. But here you can do parallelly the content writing and parallelly the image settings and all. The next thing, the next tool, Please kind of note the next tool I'm talking about flat icon. Uh, this is for the free icons. Suppose you like to add, uh, you are the science background. You like to add a lot of uh, code, uh, some of the uh, devices which are using the lab, that icons you want to use it. So for this, you can go with the flat icon. It is a good tool to download the free, uh, locate, uh, free icons. So can we add some under some picture? Yeah, of course, you can add some text up. That is possible. So after inserting this one, what you have to do? After inserting this image, go to the insert and create a text box and type anything. For example, I'm creating the image. You can type as a tree. You can add anything that is possible, right? It's like inserting text box. It's like a normal PPT. Now I move to the flat icon. In the flat icon, just I'm, uh, this is another add-in software. The purpose for this to download the plenty of free icons. Uh, it is not image, it's an icon. Just I'm going to add up. This is a tool. Once you insert it, uh, you are getting this kind of icon for slides and box. Click the start button. Automatically, there is a pop-up menu when it comes to the right side. There, you have to select this. Yeah, is this flat icon exactly flat icon? Now, you can see this much of icons are available. For example, you are the chemistry background. You can type as a chemistry. You can type as a chemistry. You like to go with the physics. You can type the physics. You can find a lot of chemistry icons. Suppose I like to go with this image. Uh, you can go with this. Then once you go with this uh, and it's asking to add, you can go with the insert. Now you can see that icons may available here. Now it is available, so you can type flat icon, E-F-L-A-T-I-C-O-N. Now you can keep it at any corner, right? So you can see the flat icon, E-F-L-A-T-I-C-O-N. No, sir, actually when you insert it, no, it is a flat icon. During the time of adding, it, it shows a flat icon. But once you install it, the term is to take icons for slides and docs. It is a flat icon only. It is a flat icon, but once after the installations, you can see this kind of mode only. You can go with the start, you can add n number of icons as you like, particularly for explaining some difficult concept. Uh, for example, uh, this for the lab, if you like to add some kind of icons of the lab, even you can change the color. You can change the color of icons and insert it. So this is a proper thank you, Vijay Kumar, uh, sir, to do that uh, response in a correct manner. So that is meant for the icons, uh, particularly for slides uh, purpose. Yeah, now you can see, you can add this kind of different, different icons. Magnus, you have, you have to install it. So please kindly tell, you can go to the add-on, go to the get add-ons, you can type as a flat icon, E-F-L-A-T-I-C-O-N. Just I'm moving here. You can type E-F-L-A-T-I-C-O-N, flat icon. Then you can go with this. You can see there is an uh, there is a five million icons are available. This is the tool you can install it. It is available. Kindly type the spelling correct in the 
add in uh, provide it. So just I'm showing it here now. And I move to the next one. Yes, slide pros, slide pros. So this also another uh, look like a, uh, the icon which are using the Flatic on the same mode. You can go with this one. You can go with the add-ons and you go to the slide pro. Um, same free icons, a lot of free icons are available. You can use this icon. So because for the teaching online, most of the time we are preferring the PPT, but the problem with PPT, we are making say some kind of normal way. Kindly make your presentations more effective with this kind of multimedia research. So here, a lot of things are there. You can check it, the things. If you like to go with icons, if you like to go with the image, even you can go for search, this kind of icons are available. All the icons are free also, you can insert. Yeah, the next one, Slido. This is good in the case of the polling. Um, even we can go with some kind of polling sections uh, doing your presentation, it is possible. Uh, for this, just I'm doing the demonstration and go to the Slido. Uh, add on and go to the Slido. I'm going to the Slido. In mobile phone, it is not possible. No, yeah, of course. In the mobile phone, we can install the Google Slide, but the uh, add-in is not the support. The add-in is not support. What do you have to do? You can prepare the PPT with the use of the laptop. Uh, and when you are projecting, you can use your mobile phone. Like you can share the, through the mobile phone app, you can share this thing. Right, that is possible. Just I move to the Slido. Uh, if someone's asking what's your favorite tool in this ad and I may tell the Slido because we can make some kind of interaction to the participants in the synchronous mode. Just I'm opening the sidebar. Uh, automatically the Slido sidebar may comes. The first time you have to be in, connect with your mail ID. You can connect with the mail ID. Suppose I like to add some of the activity, I can go with the creative sessions. This is like you can go with the uh, multiple choice question, even the queues question, anything. Suppose I like to go with the uh, uh, queues question. So I can go with the queues, I can ask the questions. Okay, I can ask the questions like uh, how AS stands for. Okay, so AS stands for, I'm giving the augmented reality, uh, uh, animated reality. First I'm giving the answer, animated reality. And I can give the answers uh, true, false. And this answer is false, that's why I'm selecting it's a false. Even we can enable the time and show later both. So suppose if you like to see, once I add it here, automatically we can see there is a new slide. There is a new slide may add it in my slide. Please kindly see, there is a new slide, automatically may incorporate in my slide. So when you are sharing the screen, the students, once they give the responses, you can see the screen directly from here. And similarly, I go to the create a new interactions. I can go with some kind of open-ended questions like uh, word club. What is your favorite food? Just I'm going to ask a question. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? Right, even we can allow the students to give the multiple response at the presentations. So like this, we can uh, make it on uh, this kind of slide -o. Then automatically there is here uh, slides make comes. Now, just I'm going to share the screen. Please kindly see how it will be working. And just I'm going to present with slide -o. Now you can see the screen. Yes, I request all um, go to the slido.com. I request all to go to the slido.com. I request all to go to the slido.com, please. Slido slido.com. Yeah. After this, you have to you have to give the code. Now I'm going to act, give some kind of activity uh, related to this. So during your PowerPoint, during the PowerPoint itself, we can incorporate this kind of interactive presentations. Uh, yeah, of course. It is students above phone. No, the sliders may working up to now is 100 participants only. Please, 100 participants only. Please, I request to all go to the slido.com. Yeah, now the Sugate joined. You can see those who are joining the activity automatically, we can see from over here. I am using the PPT only. Please kindly note, I am using a normal PPT. In the PPT, I am with the use of Google Slides, I am adding the slider as a tool. That tool is making help to go with this kind of interactive presentations. So now the guy three need to, now the guy three Hiba Khan, John, so Hiba, a lot of people have joined. So here I have the 12 students now they join. For example, now I like to conduct the activity now. Even we can go with up to 100 students, um, but uh, due to time context, I'm just to start the event. Please kindly give the answer within 15 seconds. I hope the questions visible to you. Madam, I started, uh, uh, that's the yeah. Once we started the queues, you cannot participate, but you can participate in the next activity. You can participate in the next activity. You can wait with the same code. Uh, yeah, so now the time is over. Uh, I hope now we are getting the Answer the answer in this case is false only. So 71% of people are giving the correct response, 29 is giving the wrong response. Yes. 
ப்ளீஸ் மேடம் உண்மை உண்மையா உண்மையா சோ ஐ ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டார்ட் திஸ் ஈவென்ட் நோ தட்ஸ் வை யூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஜாயின் பிகாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் கியூஸ் மோர் சோ யூ கேன் பி ஜாயின் இன் பிட்வீன் நவ யூ கேன் சீ தி தி வின்னர் நவ யூ கேன் சீ திஸ் வின்னர் சோ கங்கிராச்சுலேஷன் டு தி விஜய் குமார் சார் பிகாஸ் ஹி அட்டெண்ட் வெரி ஃபாஸ்ட் வே கங்கிராச்சுலேஷன் டு ரமண குமார் ஜோயிஸ் ஸ்ட்ரீ ஜா சுகை திஸ் ஆல் பீப்பிள் ஆர் गिविंग देयर ரெஸ்பான்சஸ் சோ கங்கிராச்சுலேஷன் டு தி ஜஸ்ட் ஐ மூவ் டு தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆக்டிவிட்டி ப்ளீஸ் கைண்ட்லி பார்ட்டிசிபேட் திஸ் ஒன் தோஸ் ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஜாயின் பிரீவியஸ் பீஸ் கைண்ட்லி ஜாயின் நவ you can go to the slider.com and give the code 795564 please kindly note uh, in the case of the what is the uh, slido sorry in the case of the slido the queues mode once you started uh, once the teacher started no one can join but in this kind of polling session like uh, this kind of open ended questions close ended question or virtual question you can join at any time that is possible yes so slido yeah you can go to slido.com or slido slido um, that is the a thing uh, even for the the creator those who are want to create a slide open they can use this one like a mentimeter like a mentimeter but uh, compared to the mentimeter i am so comfortable with this and also it's having plenty of future compatibility with it that's why i'm recommending this and we can incorporate this kind of tools as an add in the things now you can see i got the 47 responses from this i came to know that biryani is your favorite food because most of the people are giving the biryani therefore i find the, the biryani is a very big fan now i am going to the next one yeah simpler to calculate now you can see i am showing you the ppt please can you know in the ppt i am using this i am not using this some third party tool just i am skipping and uh, going so i am using the same powerpoint in the with the use of google slides there i am incorporating see there is a slido there i am incorporating this slido the tool activities like this you can go with any activity now the next tool infographic because the people are very much uh, interested to prefer a lot of infographic but they given me a very wonderful infographic even i can show the infographic which is created by myself this infographic i created as part of the demonstration see fourie mantra then this here things i used to from the this adam only so very good most of the things are very free, free they given uh, this kind of infographic we can easily to prefer with the use of the adam that is called slide kit his kind of note slide kit you have to go to the add and you can install it and just i am going to tell which are the options they provided if you go to this insert slides you can find it the plenty of uh, templates just you can use the template and modify the content and see here lot of templates are available even some of the templates are free paid one that's what I, my recommendation you can type as a free here if you go and free you can find all the template more than 5 uh, pages templates are there all the templates are free all the templates are free see all the templates are free you can make it a very good presentations without depending on any one because normally for preparing this ppt uh, for making this kind of very colorful we can depends on the people yeah exactly we can use the graphic organizer because this is like a graphic organizer only suppose i like to go with this image so just we can press here automatically it may be installed uh, inserted as a one uh, yeah now you can see there is a infographic i install uh, inserted then after this what you have to do you can modify the text you can modify the text you can modify the text as you like it's a very simple mechanism to make it a uh, slide kit and the next one record two slides suppose you want to record the video so we are depends on the some kind of obs studio or some kind of third party tools no or record plus auto tools are there but particularly for recording the google slides with your video my recommendation go with a record to slides this is a tool it is a google chrome extension what you have to do you just you have to go to the google chrome you can type like this record to slide extension if you go with the record to slide extension you can go to the record to slides once you go with the record to slides you have to install this add in uh, it's not added it's a extension google chrome extension we have to install it record to slides after this you can come to the slide after installation is over you are getting this kind of plus symbol i hope you are seeing this is a plus symbol no those who are installed this add and uh, this extension automatically in your uh, google slide you are getting this kind of small video button this video button when it available this once you install it so this is a actual icon this is an icon uh, record to slide but once you install properly automatically there is a small button that comes like this once you click here automatically it goes to the record video very simple process you don't worry because the obs studio data tools are using but the problem obs is not that much useful for me but here it's very simple automatically 
once you create prefer the video it may goes to the your uh, google drive and automatically that videos may embed here also and this is for the settings suppose you like to do the same settings you can do the settings this is for share even you can share the screen uh, you can share the entire screen like capturing the entire screen or windows or a chrome tab which one you like you can go with this then if you like to give the lecture without the share screen you can cancel it and you can go for the record this is a button for recording this is for the recording and just time start recording hi friends i hope you all are safe at the place the session might be helping you a lot so after made this uh, prepare this video just to stop this video and you can see parallelly the recording the recording screen suppose you would like to use this one you can use it okay then after this i can go to the okay so automatically the videos may embedded here so is it possible to open it for open yeah of course you can open the ppt and record it but you have to go with the slide share option okay so now the videos it may record sir is the only google slides are recorded what about audio no audio also recording just i'm going to do the demo so please wait so yeah now you can see there is a video i hope you have seen this video automatically once you prepare the video it may be embedded now the problem with the google drive so the problem with the google um, meet most of the time the people are having the issues that sir uh, when you share the screen the audio is not reaching the participants this is the same queries and regularly i'm crossing but if you are using the google slide you don't have any issue in this because automatically the audio is may reach the participants just i'm going to the do the demonstration please i'm already share the screen but i'm going to share the screen in a different mode in the google slide there is a plus button so there is a arrow mark button please kind of note now i'm going to share the the second time screen with here so once i press the here those who have pinned my screen please i request all those who have pinned my the previous screen kindly uh, unpin now because now i'm going to share the new screen that you have to see so because i'm already connected to the google meet now therefore it's showing the 192 participants and uh, if you like to share it you can go to the present tab want to go to the present tab meeting then it asks you to share now i can share now now you are getting the it's asking the whether you can share as a tab yeah i'm going to share on tab only and automatically the share audio is me enable go with the share once i go with the share yeah i hope now you are getting the new screen of me new screen i am going to play this video just you can see and just i am going to present i am going to present now i am going to play that video so record to slides the video which is prepared now so yes kindly so there is a error i think one minute it might work i don't know yes so i think the processing takes little time just i try once again otherwise i can prefer your new video i can prefer a new video hi friends i hope all are safe at a place yes just i'm going to share i can stop recording and click okay but it takes few seconds to uh, insert the video because the processing like when you are preparing the google meet to recording it takes few seconds to process it i think the processing time that is why i'm not able to play it it takes little time of processing so after the processing you can share the screen like this yeah now the second video also there just i'm keeping the both the video first video and second video now i'm going to share the entire screen and present it and just i'm going to play it now ready and just yes. i'm start recording hi friends i hope you all are safe at place this session might be helping you a lot so after are you able to hear the sound are you able to hear the sounds the video sound any type in the chat box yes 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 sir yeah so, yes thank you sir thank you so previously the lot of issues might comes of while sharing the screen just i'm stop sharing this one i'm coming back to the normal presentations uh, just i'm coming to the our google meet i'm, I'm just uh, resuming the presentations the previous presentations yes resuming yes i hope now we are getting the the previous presentations so um, we have um, So I mean, it's time. Just I'm going to finish the entire thing. Yes, I'm going to escape. Yeah. Uh, please, other things kindly uh, note this. Uh, the tool we can explore for a minute because we have the eight minutes only. Uh, the next one, insert a video. Uh, that is very simple in the case of the Google Slides. You can go to the insert. You can go to the insert, and um, they they can find out the option called video. Once you press the video, it asks you to upload the video from the YouTube or from the URL from Google Drive. so no no it is not an add in it is not an add in uh, 
So that things, you know, it is automatic in the insert option, the video uh, options are there inserted. So here after, uh, yeah, the next one is a craft image I am already showed and share screen also I demonstrated. This option we have to use the share screen. And uh, the other then, suppose I like to go um, explain some other tools. Uh, it makes the classroom more fruitful, more uh, interactive. For this, I'm just I'm giving the tool name, but I'm not doing the demonstration. If you like to explore these things, uh, I can share my website. All the tutorials are available. Kindly see from my, my tutorial. The tool name is called Classroom Screen. Classroom Screen, we can have the lot of control. We can go with a lot of funds also with this tool. We can connect any kind of program, Classroom Screen. It is a free tool. It is a free tool. We can go with any kind of activity with this. Please kindly uh, explore this tool. And the second one. So uh, now that we are using different whiteboard, particularly uh, those who are like to use the uh, voices, they're using the open board. But my recommendation, if possible, you can go with the whiteboard dot chart. Uh, it is a good tool, uh, and it's having the artificial intelligence based some of the light because it's like auto draw options are there. Even for teaching mathematics, very simple enough with this. And there's a blueprint, and uh, this for the gamification tool for make the classroom more interactive with gaming elements. You can go with the blueprint tool. There's a near port. This is also another gamification tool to make the classrooms more lively and interactive. Now, these are things I'm not doing the demonstration because of the time uh, issues. And the next one, uh, suppose you are using the LMS platform. My suggestion, uh, you can explore the H5P because the H5P tools consider a lot of interactive uh, features. <coughs> Intention for the interactive content, interactive uh, cues, a lot of things possible through this and explore it. And if you like to conduct the online examinations, my suggestion go to the test modes because this may supporting for the five mark question, two mark question. That's why I told it, it may support both subject and objective. That's also fine. And just and come back to the, the my conclusion because uh, this person is talking about two things. One is called online, uh, effective online teaching and techniques, uh, teaching tools and techniques. So I'm already focusing some of the tools related to the Google Slides. Don't, uh, because a lot of tools are there. But why I'm focusing, because most of the time we are using the PowerPoint, but for how we can effectively use a PowerPoint for this, I'm adding the lot of added. Now I'm coming to the techniques. For successful mantras, this is a successful mantra. This I'm practicing regularly. For making this successful in the classroom activities, you have to keep the four mantra. You engage the participants, you enlighten the content, you can provide the group content in live mode, in fact, remote. You encourage the, because the biggest challenge, the engagement layers are very less. So if the students are giving the answer kindly, specify the students name and which them okay and you can use the, the appropriate electronic tools if you are using the three e's dance in the classroom the online classroom more fruitful and the successful online teaching techniques so first the teacher should be familiar with the online tools and the tools which is advanced which is the tools new that you have to use it and you engage everyone online classes kindly engage the people you engage the peer learning so there is a spelling so this is peer learning and uh, kindly check whether the tool which you are using, you know, whether it's having the mobile comfortability. Because most of the time, the students are connected with the mobile phone, they don't have the laptop. Therefore, the tool which you are using to make some kind of interaction, kindly check whether the tools may supporting to the mobile comfortability. Then only we can make some kind of meaningful interaction with the students. And whenever you are organizing a meeting, kindly show your face. Even I class, even my students are attending. Some of the teachers, they're not open the camera, please, whenever. Even if you speak anything, one question or if you're giving any uh, things, kind of open the screen, uh, kind of open your camera and then speak. Because that creates some kind of closeness in the online classes. So I class some other people, the students also you know, turn off the camera, teachers also turn off. This is like your audio trans. So this is like audio chatting. Then what is the need for the video chatting you're using? You can go with some kind of audio chatting. No? What is the need for the Google Meet to go with this kind of thing? So, Always my recommendation, use the camera once you join this meeting. Uh, you can show your face. Keep your video, suppose you prefer any video as a syn asynchronous practice, kindly make the videos very small. And record your videos, record your videos, uh, because sometimes the students have some kind of technical bits. You, uh, I don't know why the schools not uh, instead the teachers to be recorded. So don't share, uh, when the students leave, we can share. Okay, and you can share as a private mode, not in public mode. Please kind because sometimes no, we cannot. Uh, some, because I am telling frankly, we cannot know the Hindi uh, uh, here. So when the Hindi teachers teach me the Hindi, my children, very she is not able to cope up with this their speech. So what is problem? If you ask me the recorded version, also they are not providing that. So we cannot need it further because they are studying the first standard. 
with the basic which are not knowing that if you go to second sense very pathetic very uh, biggest issue for them therefore i request the teacher if possible kindly record the videos and share these videos to the students uh, that's for the recording and you can and they have fun in between and there is a three road map so i'm going to highlight there is a four road maps uh, to reach the success of the online teachers uh, i'm giving the three cube formula but now i add as a four cube formula there's a four cube formula the teachers those are having the intelligent question emotional question curiosity question as a digital question they only they can success what is the curiosity other things he knows intelligent question emotional question the curiosity con uh, question means the teacher should curious to learn lot of things don't stop your learn you should curious to learn lot of different tools different uh, content you should be curious to learn it then finally you can go with the digital question you must be expertise how to use the tool how to control the the participants how to interact with the tool for your teaching learning so everything you should be aware of it therefore the three the four q mantra it gives the success in your life iq eq cq and dq and finally i like to give us exactly shortly now uh 1229 so my time is up to 1230 so i give my uh, small uh, thanks to the the entire acknowledgement people and thanks to the particularly for the google slides because see i'm making this kind of uh, in infographic because of this tool only thanks to the the entire tools and mobile apps which i use now so that's my first acknowledgement because i am demonstrating lot of mobile apps as well as web tools um in this context i am sharing some thanks to the the apps creators and tools creator and thanks to my teachers especially my uh, guide uh, bharat singh was the um faculties uh, for them i am sharing my thanks and uh, the new person was uh, the other teachers those are supporting to reach my destinations and uh, thanks my students uh, because of the them i am regularly updating that they are expecting something novel in the digital world uh, so i am updating on behalf of them so in this context i am sharing with thanks to them and thanks to the the my central institute of kerala kale um, even central institute of Kami, uh, central institute of kerala uh, department of education all the faculties who are supporting for this and special thanks to the our mustafa sir to lead the esnc and uh, doing a wonderful things uh, the last uh, uh, one year is doing a very tremendous pain to uh, make this kind of activity so thank you mr professor and uh, the team member other uh, the team member of vcc to made a wonderful event and thanks to all the participants for your praise and actually active participations